Hello, this is Dr. Jeff Kim, National Board Certified Teacher. I'm sure many of you have heard of Title IX, uh, and if you haven't, you've probably felt the benefit of Title IX, and this is the opportunity for women to receive equal funding in federally funded programs. So if you look at women's sports and men's sports at the university, before they were not equally funded, and today they are equally funded. And we could thank Patsy Mink for that. And if we were to end the story right there, Thank you, Patsy Mink, so much uh, gratitude to you. But actually, there's so much more to this story of resilience, I think you'll find. And I'm having the opportunity, actually, to work with Dr. Judy Wu uh, and uh, UCI, along with uh, the folks over at UCLA, to create some of the first Asian American Pacific Islander uh, digital textbook materials. And so I won't be going over the curriculum today, but I just wanted to talk about how excited I am about this project. Just this morning, I had a chance to meet with uh, Professor Wu, along with Gwendolyn Mink, who is the daughter of Patsy Mink, and it just felt like I was just having a chance to connect with history in such a powerful way. Patsy Mink is the first of so many things. So in addition to Title IX, let me read a portion from this book called Fierce and Fearless, very recently published by New York University Press, and they gave me this free copy. Thank you, New York University Press. Uh, by Dr. Judy Wu and Gwendolyn Mink, daughter of Patsy Mink. And uh, I'm going to just read this quote here. Mink was a first in so many ways. She was a Japanese-American woman in Hawaii, first Japanese-American woman in Hawaii to practice law, the first to run for and win a seat in the Hawaii legislature, the first woman of color to serve in the U.S. House of Representatives, the first Asian American woman to run for U.S. presidency in 1972. Wow, so many firsts and there's so many more, but wow, just even there, it's amazing. What will this lesson look like? So it, it begins with this driving question. It's gonna be a project-based learning, which definitely incorporates the five C's, communication, collaboration, creativity, critical thinking, compassion, and then also adds a component of civic engagement and learning. So the driving question is, um, Patsy Mink was ahead of the majority, often being first to make a difference and standing alone for when it's necessary. How can you be fierce and fearless on an issue that matters to you? So students in part one will have the opportunity to actually read uh, this graphic novel that's being created now. And once again, uh, for material and Asian American material that's out there, like if I were to look at like, let's say, um, George Washington, there'd be so many different books and different ways that George Washington has been expressed and it'd be very easy to learn about George Washington. But if I know about, want to know about Patsy Meek, this is the only biography that there is out on Patsy Meek, even though she's a very important person. And I could tell you right now at this very time, uh, there is someone working on a graphic novel to tell the story of Patsy Meek. And so students will have a chance to read that and then create a little uh, biography, a little story about Patsy Mink using um, Google Slides, maybe breaking, breaking it up between early years, becoming an aspiring doctor, lawyer, congresswoman, and then Title IX. Part two uh, will focus on issues that Patsy Mink was passionate about, whether it was Vietnam or environmental issues or Title IX. Uh, and then students will have a chance to kind of reflect, do they agree or disagree? And once again, uh, we create spaces for students to talk about what they're passionate about, what they believe in. It's not the teacher's job to say, hey, this is what I believe, this is what I think, but it's creating spaces for students to kind of engage in a civil and empathetic way with one another. And then this leads to part three, which is a photo voice activity. I do have an Ed Family video on this topic. And uh, students will have the chance to um, take a picture of something that they're passionate about, something that they care about, and then to write about it and then express it to the class. So in a sense, they can be like Patsy Mink and be fierce and fearless. And the last step is more of a metacognition, kind of stopping and reflecting and thinking about how they grew in the five C's, communication, collaboration, creativity, critical thinking, and compassion and also um, how they grew in being fierce and fearless, how they grew in their civic engagement and learning. And as they do this, I know it's gonna build their agency and build their ability to have compassionate action to another. 
I'm going to end with this quote here from Patsy Mink. It's easy to vote right and be consistently with the majority, but it is often more important to be ahead of the majority. And this means being willing to cut the first furrow into the ground and stand alone for a while if necessary. This is Dr. Jeff from Ed Family signing out.